Welcome back to Indie on Indie with Chris and Cody. Hey, that's me. For episode nine of The Cave. I think this is lasting longer than DuckTales. This might be our longest series so This far. is, but at least we're not getting brutally, brutally destroyed. That is very I feel true. like we're making a decent amount of progress here. That is very true. Um, okay. And even though DuckTales was, whatever, nine episodes, we cut out a lot of us just dying. Yeah. You can see a montage in the beginning of, I believe it was episode eight. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so this is episode nine. I feel like this is the last. Where are you going? I don't know where to go. I think you need to get the redneck over there, right? Maybe, but what are we going to do with the old man? We should probably Push him in the water. That's what happens. The tide is going. Um, That's what happens here in the cave. Boop. What happens in the cave? Cave's in the cave. We should leave now if cave. we want to make Some it before high tide. tide. Yeah, I'll try pushing it. Let's see what happens. You're really taking your uh, sweet time, aren't you? He keeps saying something about he packed up all his belongings. Here, I'll just sail on his head and we'll be good. It says we should keep going. We should probably shove off. The tide I won't let is you going out, out, and I've got no. all my beloved possessions. Uh, maybe... He says that he has all of his beloved stuff packed, but maybe he's forgetting something that we can use to throw inside the water. Uh, oh. Almost jumped off the edge there. Can we bomb him? Is, is, is there something immoral about that? <laughs> can we firebomb him? <laughs> Just go through all the trouble. Oh, he didn't bring his dog. You have to get the dog? Probably. And I'll feed the dog to this. Oh, yeah, and he has this chest for Hey! Can you grab the dog? No, it's not. Let me grab it. Oh, what about the femur? Oh, good call. Because dogs like bones. They do. Except the other dog didn't really seem to care for the bone at all. But... Yeah, that was a good puzzle. He lied. Um... Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. All right. So, Chris, I have a so random Cody. I have a random topic just to talk over so far. Riddle me that. We are in May. So, yes. we're we're almost you know, we're almost out there. We're almost halfway through this year. What has been your favorite game so far? Favorite indie on indie game or just game in general? Uh, we'll do we'll do both. What's your favorite indie on indie experience so far and what's your favorite um, game? I think DuckTales without a doubt. DuckTales? Yeah, I mean, Ducktales I, that was been... punishing. It's. I think it's. we dropped it down, remember? Oh, yeah, for the... Good, good. Yeah. Um, it was punishing, but that was sort of like our trial by fire for yeah. Indie on Indie. Like, once once we did that, we can do anything. Exactly. Um, so that would be that. Uh, for Game of the Year... So far. So far, I... I don't know. That's a good question. It's Does so... it have to be from this year or just in general? Just sort of what I've enjoyed playing. Um... I'm gonna have to say game that you've played. Uh, I'm gonna have to say from this year. Yeah. Let me see. Wow. I mean, I enjoyed Infinite Second Son. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed Don't Starve a lot. I was gonna think that was yours. Um, which watch for both of those Indian Indian. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Um, It'll be fun. I'm trying to think what else I play. I mean, I'm playing stuff on Vita, but most of that is just. Uh, you know, older games that I missed because I didn't have a Vita. Yeah. Oh, that's something. I will really follow you. No. Uh. no. I mean, when you move. When you follow you, that kind of thing. No, you're just going to bark a lot. Go the bone. Go the bone. Huh. Go on. I have no idea what to do. Alright, maybe we take the bone to the boat? Maybe. But anyway, no, it's been a good year so far. It's been a good year. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got a ton of games that i still got to finish. <laughs> Every, Every time! time. <laughs> uh, <sighs> we have a drawer in our office filled with PS4 games yeah. that I own that... I still got to beat Call of Duty Ghosts, so I got to beat... Um, uh, I got a platinum infamous. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> um, knack, I've got. Oh. Let's go. No more island. Time to leave. <laughs> um. Could get eaten by a thing. Okay. 
Oh, you've got me killed, old man. I've got everything I need, I think. I, he thinks. Okay, so, so he's, he's forgotten something. The bird, maybe? Bugs oh, crack. Where you'll get the bird? Okay, the bird will like crackers. Because that's the stereotypical thing of bird. Okay. Um, what else do I have in my kill zone? I played kill zone. Um, Did you ever beat it? Yeah, I beat it. I never planned on it. But yeah. I definitely beat it, and I started doing some of the stuff on hard because the game's not particularly that hard. No, it's not. Um, except there's that one. Um, there's that one achievement where you can't die. Uh, throughout the entire campaign. Yeah. I don't, I don't we, know if that's possible. It, it, well, the thing is is that you can actually go into each level and then each segment of a level. Um, get him. Nice. Uh, each segment of a level and do that part. Yeah. But the thing that's really annoying are just like those scenes where you're... I don't know if there's a spoiler or not. Kind of, maybe. Spoiler. Uh, spoiler territory. Why not? Oh, did we lose our bird? Yeah, apparently it doesn't like water. Yes, it can't get wet. No, but he moved up here, so maybe that's why. Uh, but where you're like falling and you have to like control yourself in the free fall and stuff, and those are like super hard. That was extremely hard. No. I played through my first time. I played through on like the hardest difficulty. Um, what are you and doing? That part sucked. Okay, so that's. I think he might just come back. Maybe it doesn't look like I have any more crackers. Yeah, let's go get him in the damn box. You will find out. Yeah, good call. Parrot. You are stupid. Um, what else? What other games do I have? Um, I got a whole bunch of them. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, I haven't played Metal Gear really that much. I played it for like an hour, and then I just got. So you had enough time to beat it like four times. No, I ah. see. I didn't. Even, I didn't really get anywhere. You know, you're gonna die if you come. I'm here. Yeah, but um, Tomb Raider. We're still gonna platinum. We keep saying that. We have to. But. I, although I, I was telling Chris this, I went into multiplayer player lobbies just to see if I could get some of the, like, kill two enemies with one grenade type things. And I tried to go into a ranked lobby, and there was nobody. Nobody I, played it. I bet we could get a, um... Um... I think maybe you just gotta be there. Oh. Well, I was wondering if I could get it eaten by a... I've got everything I need. Do you have to go all the way back? Oh, my God. Do we have to get that and the dog? I think we might have to. Okay. Um, and the chessboard? What are we, because those seem like his big things are like that, the dog, and then the chessboard. Yeah, I don't know. Can we pick up the chessboard? The okay, there. Got, a yeah, got it. I think you just need to sit in the boat with him, I would hope. Uh, okay. Uh, and then maybe if I sit in there with that and something else, then he'll go back to get the other thing and we can leave. With his back. No! No! <sighs> oh, you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you calling it? I'm calling it. Ah, oh, crap. You give me crap. <laughs> uh, okay. No, it's been a good year, and it's only going to get better. Um, especially with, like, E3 coming around. We should have a, a WMVG shoot soon. Maybe, like, when I get back from vacation. Uh, about predictions for E3. Yeah. Because that'll be... That'll be like the week before E3, I think is when I get back. Um, I believe yes. somewhere around there. E3 is normally early June. So So for those of you wondering, we do, Multiverse Games does a weekly podcast called WMBG. Oh my god. Uh, and when you die, it goes back too. Yeah, uh, give it a listen. Chris and I are... You can find it on uh, iTunes. Yeah, find it on iTunes. You can find it on the website where we now have every oh episode god. of Indie on Indie posted. So... If you want to find a different place to watch other than YouTube, you can watch it on there, I suppose. <laughs> we should come up with some good way on the site, some incentivizing. To watch them? Well, just some better way to make it work. We'll look into it. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Something that's better than YouTube. But hey, until then, we cool. Ooh. Um, yeah, no, WMVG, it's our weekly podcast. Uh, we actually had a really good discussion this time about uh, Kickstarter and harmonics. This should be up relevant afterwards. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this jackass. 
<laughs> this motherfucker. I'm gonna take the corn. I don't know if the corn has relevance to anything. We should leave now if we want to but. make it before high tide. <laughs> Time to cast over. Or not. I've got okay. everything I need. Is that just like kind of a running gag? There's really always this corn? I guess so. Because that was a destroyed can of corn earlier. And we lost it, and then we got it back. It made me happy. And then we lost it again. You're maybe you're really just talking to him. Like, maybe you're too close. Marks, you oh. There you go. Okay. So, what does the corn do? What does the corn do? Corn, 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 corn. I'd never, I'd never heard that song before. Then Tina was like, have you heard that What Does the Fox Say song? I was like, no. I don't. Wait, what, what are you was talking this? About? I was like months ago. Oh, okay. It didn't get really popular until, well, it came out in like a couple days was when it got really popular. So, yeah. Like I saw it, I think like two days after it got released. I just randomly saw it on YouTube and I was like, okay. It's what do we do new. with that theme? Can I just pick up the dog? Yeah, you can't do anything with a chest set either. So you must be able to have to do something with the dog. Okay, so bring the time travel over. Maybe, like, while he's barking, you can pick up the dog. And get the femur. Okay. Oh, she already has that. Good. So. So. Shio. Now, I was trying to think back, and I think my favorite indie on indie so far has been Inspector Gadget. Because that was just such a clusterfuck. <laughs> that was... Yeah, that was, that a, was a good one. That was a good one, so... I agree, DuckTales was fun in our trial by fire, but I think Inspector Gadget was just the best reaction of what the hell is this game. So while it's barking, can you pick it up with like the red man? And force it to eat corn? Okay. So it's barking when we have a bow, so it likes the bow. What can we do to make it want to bow? It only. Oops. Can I just put the dog in the <laughs> thing of corn? Yeah. Just do you like corn? Come on. Okay. So we have. Do we don't care about the dog? I don't know. I feel like we do. Well, we have the parrot, but what else could he want? Like, the, the only things that he has are the parrot, the dog, and the, the chest set. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they would have given you the femur. But they gave us the femur last time, and we didn't use it for anything, right? Yeah. I mean, we also didn't use, like, the corn or anything either. Yeah. Throw the corn on the fire and watch it explode. Have you ever done that before? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Time. You want me to throw it down here? Yeah. I don't think I can. From the other side, probably. Oh, wait, can. I can, yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, you can even hold on to the can cord while you're turning that. Ooh, multitasker. Ooh. Ooh, it's fast. It is fast. Yeah, just let it go for a while. Nope. Aw. Oh, damn it. Well, we tried. <laughs> um, am I stuck? I could be stuck. Oh, God. The kill switch. The kill switch. Kill switch engage. Okay. Um, that's just a bunch of crap. I don't think there's anything down here that's worth a damn. Just dynamite. We could kill his dog. <laughs> huh. I don't know how we'd get dynamite all the way up there, but... I do not know. I do not know. Well, they might have gotten me stumped, which is sad, because we started to figure this out pretty well. <laughs> Got his parrot. See, I feel like having it in the boat isn't gonna help unless if we remind him somehow. The parrot would randomly say chess calls, but he's not doing that now. And I don't want to let go of the box because I'm gonna lose the parrot. Press square and see what happens. Move on. I've shut off the stove like and the... stopped the paper. Uh, I'm not forgetting anything. Time to shove off and get back to civilization. Huh. Have I got everything I need? I think so. So... He has nothing. So I think we need to get... Yeah, I think actually the goal might be to get him out of the boat. Yeah. 
So like we show him that not necessarily to bring things to him. What happens if we put the will the parrot mimic parrot, the dog? Maybe. Or like maybe he'll say something to the dog. We're just trying to make as much noise as humanly possible now. <laughs> I just want to beat this oh, level. Shit, we're gonna uh, lose the parrot. So we can't. So that probably means that's not the right way to do it. Well, because we can go up first and we have to do that anyway. We just have to go yeah. back to the parrot. Ugh. Get in a damn box of crackers. The funny thing is that I just bought so many point and click adventure games, it's not even funny. I said Polly wants a bratwurst. Don't we have a bratwurst? We do. Maybe the dog wants it. Hmm, interesting. You think the dog wants a hot dog? Maybe. Cause like it's meat. Dogs like meat. It's true. That's a hot dog. Lots That's of things. No. <laughs> oh, it's just sand crap. Speaking of bottle of rum. I turned 21. I've got my horizontal license and everything. No. No. Um, no. Okay. Nothing about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the... Here's the thing. So we're gonna get the bird and just sit it next to the dog and see what happens. Ooh, nice catch. Yeah. Good grab, good grab. We don't have a dog. <laughs> Three hour <tour. laughs> So, I don't know if you remember, but uh, who saved the. Oh, give the parrot. Oh, yeah. Who saved the cast of Gilligan's Island? Not the cast, but who saved the uh, castaways on Gilligan's Island in the final episode? Um, Chuck Norris. No. <laughs> Was it the senile old man on this island? No. Was it Sergeant Sergeant Dan Tucker of MASH? Yeah. I don't think it's the right person. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So pick up the hot dog two times. So it's just for fun. Yeah. Yep. He's gonna keep doing that. Good call. Okay. Hopefully it's not timed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, double fine, you bastards. <laughs> okay. So anyway, the answer to the trivia question. Yes. Spoilers if you have not seen Gilligan's Island and probably won't because the show's 40 years old. But the answer is nobody. They never got off the island. Never, ever, ever. In the original, I think. Okay, okay he it? continues to do this. Did they remake it? Uh, I think there was like a miniseries, maybe, or like a made for TV movie. Mm. I never got into Gilligan's Island, really to be honest. I'm actually, I, I've been burning through Columbo. Well, I was burning through Columbo. Yeah, not anymore. Well, I, I watched all the ones on Netflix, and now the rest are, uh, I guess, owned by ABC, and so they're not anywhere. Oh. All the old ones are, but none of the newer ones. Doesn't ABC normally post on, like, Hulu? I've got my dog! You wait here, and I'll be back in a flash. Don't yes. Without we us. are going to do that. Spanky so, gets his own seat, so someone will need to swim. So just go ahead and push off, and then everybody should spawn in there. Oh, well, everybody's in there anyway. Redneck, jump in. Go. Go. Bye. Bye. I'm no lawyer, but maritime law clearly allows for the abandonment of annoying hermits. I can see that. And really, the stranding of a lone hermit pales in comparison to what we've seen from these three so far. <laughs> I do wonder if any lessons have been learned this evening. Probably Maybe not. by you and me, but I fear not by them. Well, we shall see soon enough. Do we have another level? Or 
Where is it going to get eaten by a shark? I don't know. Twist ending. Written by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> At the end of our Wonderful. Oh, are we back here again? We are back here. Let's right, see what's going on. Are we just gonna have to repeat this thing over and over again? It's just a never-ending loop. Well, you took long enough. I was gonna send out the search party, but they're still looking for the last group. Hey, you we did it. Run into an annoying clown, did you? Oh hey, yeah, we did find them. We just got a new shipment of trinkets that should satisfy your every desire. Wasn't that in the very beginning? I give them to you yeah, without beginning, suitable yeah. replacements. So take this giant novelty-sized key again and open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. So wait, I'm confused. Does this that game ever end? I don't know. I don't know if it's just gonna make us keep playing. I. Okay, well, we'll play through this part. Because this would be the third time that we've had to do it. <laughs> if it seems familiar. I think we're falling into their trap. <laughs> I've never been able to stop playing the cave. <laughs> is that okay? Is that how it? I feel like things are, things are a little different, maybe. Like this wasn't here before, right? Or was that here? I think it was. So this should be where the monster is. But we killed the monster. Okay. 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 Yeah. So we're good. Where we get the dynamite. Okay. We're brought up here. Are we gonna find like our corpses or something? Ooh, dun dun dun. So this, yeah, because up here was where uh, we found them. Oh, oh hey, there's that guy. the miner. So we can take his gold. Hello, Hello. bye. And then what else? Maybe these are the people who we met on our travels. Spooks up to yeah, these are all the, the people that we met on our travels. Okay, cool. So we're getting all their stuff now. Okay, so we gotta drop this off here. So maybe the the things that we found were the like artifacts of other people. Yeah, they were I think they might have been the artifacts of the previous group that we came down. Oh man. So maybe these people are stuck in the cave just like we are. We're just eternally stuck in the cave. Should be one more, shouldn't there? Yeah, there should be. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you gotta climb up there. Okay, so just have him wait. Okay, so then. And grab. then. She can go grab the gold. Yeah. Actually, no, because these people weren't. These people were the same. These people were what? These people weren't character specific. Right? Because, like, the prospector wasn't, didn't have anything to do with the other guys. Yeah. Yeah. So then, okay. So, But Never I mind. think that these are, like, previous yeah. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got you. It's going to be, like, the chessboard up there. Or we can finally kill the dog. Yep, we yep. can finally kill the dog. Okay. How'd they get down there so fast? It's not even fair. <laughs> get down where? I put them there. Huh? Because, like, they beat us there, even though they're trapped on the island, which means that he's just keeping them all hostage. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> get it? Because it's, it's a struggle. And ever. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. I think we're on to something. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a positive ending, but... <laughs> he just, like, kills us. Just shot through the heart. <laughs> and you're to blame. 
You give love a bad name. Okay. What you got for a shot, Keep? Oh, that is very nice. I don't think its rightful owner will miss it much. Probably you not. Earned it. Did this go up last time? Um, I don't remember. I don't either. But this is the... Did you notice that the three things were the three things that all of them wanted, though? Like, that's her Employee of the Year award thing. The oh, big teddy bear. No, I didn't. Because when we went and grabbed them in the beginning, was that what they were? No, it was like a guitar. Uh, yeah, it was a guitar. Uh, are you sure? Did she... A plan is executed. What you always wanted. The trouble with casualty. Okay. Okay. So I think we need it. Splendid. That will look nice on the shelf. Was Taking the thing left? someone else desires yeah. what was, that again? was a stroke of genius. That was like the poison? There you go. Is it the poison? Yeah, it's yeah. a poison. So they're all learning lessons. Although we won't have their full story because we couldn't figure out how to get the one. Yeah. That's all right. That's okay. If we really... If it had a platinum, we could go and be achievement whores, but until then, <laughs> we'd be a trophy whore, but no. What are the repercussions of their actions? So she got arrested. Or it looked like what she changed the future and it was really bad. Oh, they all ate together. Whoa. Huh? Wait, why'd they eat it? I just, I guess they were being forced to. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. So they're all dead? <laughs> oh, that is very nice. After all, possession is nine tenths of the law. That other one tenth. <laughs> Enjoy. So are we led to believe that the next group then will come through? Those three people will come through? I don't know. Those possessions? I'm thinking. Unless they just reset it. That'd be kind of cool, though, if it, like, remembered your last save. I'm just thinking, like, the meta story. Yeah. If uh, people just keep going through and stealing other people's... The burning rage of rejection. Blind rampage of revenge. So he turns into a serial arsonist. That's what it looks like. Okay. Well, you might think of this evening as a failure, but it was not. Kind of. True, our friends did not learn the lessons they were meant to. They are destined to choose a path that can lead only to misery and disappointment. Not to mention a few lawsuits mm -hmm. and possibly yes. an embarrassing reality TV show. I but I know you will leave here tonight with a new perspective on the choices to come. Someday, you yourself shall explore my mysterious depths. And when we meet again on that journey, I am confident you will make the right decisions. Because I am the cave. The cave. Ah, he said it. He said it. Chris, he said it. I know. I was there. He, he, he said it. Okay. Created by Ron Gilbert. Oh, that's right. Ron Gilbert was the one who created this. Not Tim He's pretty cool. He was the creative director, but he was not the creator. Um, so what do you think? I like it. I always enjoy games with like the witty, the witty um, narrators. So that's always fun. Mm -hmm. um, it had a really good art style to it, and given they see had four concept artists. Wow. And we get going. They had a person just for cave paintings, <laughs> just for cave paintings. Just for that's cave it. paintings. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a fun game. I yeah, like I cool. like the art style a lot. There were some issues. We we're getting a lot of slowdown and yeah stuff like that. But overall, I'd, I'd enjoy it. What, what do you say? What did, what yeah, did you most I like? I, I would recommend it. I would recommend it too. I recommend people play it. There you go. It gets our Indie on Indie stamp of approval. Stamp sound. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, cool. We're going to sit here and make you watch the rest of the credits so that you know, make you watch through all of their. All of their. Yeah, you're enjoying these, aren't you? Got the, the shopkeeper cave. 
So is this one of their, uh, whatever it's called, is it the Amnesia Fortnite? Is that what their thing is called? I don't know. I think, I think it was just them. Cause like, I know it was written by like Ron Gilbert. Oh, Ron's oh. dad. Um, who was a, he was, worked at Double Fine for the longest time. And I think he actually just left. If I remember right, I could be wrong. But I feel like Tim Schafer stayed and Ron Gilbert went somewhere else. I don't remember where. Let's ask the Googles. But no, I think it was this was like an actual double fine game. Hmm. I don't understand. Do you know? No, what? I mean, I think I think uh, Amnesia Fortnite's part of Double Fines. That's when they like stop making games and they just, if I if I'm remembering this correctly, and they just have everybody go and make. You got like two weeks to make like a small proof of concept game. Oh. And then if it's something cool, they kind of go ahead and make it into a full thing. Oh, okay. I, I think this might have been one of those games. Yeah, I, um, I actually that, didn't know. That came out of that. I've heard Amnesia Fortnite before, but uh, for the longest time I thought it was like a uh, like a sequel to Amnesia, <laughs> like The Dark oh, Descent. yeah. And then I actually... Whoa, oh, Cliff, Cliff Cliffy B was a playtester. That's crazy. <laughs> um, but I actually never really knew what it was, so that's interesting. That's, that's just, actually a cool idea. I like it. So there you go, viewers. You've learned what Amnesia Fortnite is. You oh, yeah, probably yeah. already knew. In partnership with Sega. Yeah, I think it's in Sega at the beginning. Sega. Oh, Sega, what happened to you? All right. Sonic. Well, I think right. that's the end of our our time here. Thanks for watching. Our exploring uh, the exp dark, deep, fiery depths of the cave. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please spread the word. Um, feel free to subscribe and post comments and like you, and all you, that. You don't have to. We don't care. Whatever. Do what you want. We do care. You do you. No. We no. Don't. We don't want to seem needy. You do you. We don't seem needy <laughs> by mentioning what people can do. Yes. Um, anyway, we also are on Facebook uh, at Multivarious Games. Uh, and always, you can email us at ioi at multivariousgames.com. And follow us on the tweeters at yeah. Indie on Indie. Yeah, on the tweets. Um, so, but wait. yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Yep, and with that, I am Cody, that is Chris, and I bid you adieu.